Welcome back everyone for my first installment of the ReZero Cut content. Do keep in mind that there are three versions of the ReZero series, the web novel, the light novel and the anime. The light novel is a refined version of the web novel, so consider the web novel a rough draft with extra information. For my cut content, I'll be looking at the light novel only and I'll only mention the web novel for egregious changes. Anyways, let's start the video. The first change in the light novel was an obvious shortening of the dialogue between Otto and Subaru. However, this stretched further than what was shown in anime. After Subaru told Otto about the situation, excluding the information about the witch's tea party and returned by death, Otto actually wanted to turn tail and run away. Otto actually then goes on to say something very interesting. As a merchant, he is used to constant bartering and negotiations in order to get the best odds at a deal. He then ends the conversation with the statement that this is the first time he's picked a side where Subaru's chance of winning is impossible. Obviously, this goes back to the idea of the title of the episode, the straight bet that is being made is heavily stacked in Roswell's favour and Subaru has no real chance of winning, but Otto will be with Subaru no matter what. Next we get to one of the most controversial changes in the series. With that said, I'll be talking about the web novel version shortly also, which will contain a minor spoiler for later down the road in the anime. But first, let me set the scene. As we see in the anime, Subaru barges in and asks Roswell to make a bet. However, in the light novel version, Ram is actually present with Roswell, and she's against Subaru's rude interruption. However, in a vague way of talking, Subaru conveys a message to Roswell that he wants to make a deal and Roswell tells Ram to leave the room so they could talk. In the anime, Ram wasn't present in the room when Subaru barged in. We also find out that after the bet, that Ram was actually watching using her clairvoyance so she understands the gist of what's going on, something that wasn't really elaborated in the anime. Regarding the bet Subaru made, in the light novel it was abundantly clear that Subaru would become a minion of Roswell if he were to lose the bet. In the anime however, it felt like the stakes were much lower and it wasn't really elaborated on. Now let's move on to the actual controversy. Now do keep in mind if you don't want to be spoiled feel free to skip ahead to the next section. In the web novel, Subaru and Roswell made a soul binding contract to enforce the bet. This is how Roswell ensures that Subaru hasn't returned by death, since the contract would persist through return by death in Subaru's soul. This is actually the same mechanism that the trial qualifications have, so when Echidna removed Subaru's trial to enter the trial at the sanctuary, uh, Subaru couldn't just simply return by death to regain his qualification because it was bound to him at a deeper level. Now here's where the weirdest twist actually comes from, is the fact that in the light novel and the anime, the soul binding contract does happen, however Roswell does it silently during the bet scene and Subaru is unaware of the bet, and we find out about this much later on in the light novel and in the anime, and this change has of course made a lot of people unhappy because the straight bet, as the title of the episode, is supposed to be an honest fair bet yet Roswell did some next weird strategy. The Ryuzu armor scene was actually covered really well by the anime. Of course, some details were lost, but the conversation was faithful and it didn't really cut out any important information. So this section does get a pass from me. The next scene in the ReZero episode is the first Amelia talk. And the anime did cut out an important piece of information about Amelia, which you can see on screen is this idea that Amelia was trapped in the ice for a hundred years. And I have no clue why they didn't include this information. On top of that, they also give us even more information regarding Amelia's physical age, mental age, and chronological age, which you can also see on screen. So I gain, I have no idea why they didn't include this information and there's nothing much I can really say about it. It's actually shambolic. The next minor change which happened was when Subaru went to strangle Amelia, in the anime he doesn't actually make contact, whereas in the light novel he does. 
if you're a web novel reader, this wasn't actually in the web novel. This is a light novel edition. So if you're confused, that's why. The next scene was Puck breaking the contract. Again, we had a very well adapted scene here with just a few minor details lost, but nothing major. And this was another well and good adaption. We next get to Garfield's talk with Shima. There is some information left out, like the fact that Garfield was actually sleeping and he woke up before this conversation actually occurred that we see in the anime. Um, but we do see more information regarding a confirmation that Shima is the one that can smell the witch's scent. Whereas when it comes to the anime, you had to kind of read between the lines. Also, there's an added scene where Garfield is speaking to Ram about her regrets. Because Amelia cannot face the trial, Garfield ponders about the fact that it's hard to overcome your past. So that's the reason why he asks Ram, does she have any regrets that she has in the past? Whereas Ram kind of blows him off saying no. After the Garfield and Ram scene, we get the Subaru and Amelia scene where Amelia is starting to remember her past and she wants Subaru to be by her side. This again is another perfect adaption of the light novel and nothing was changed here. In the closing minutes of the episode, Garfield is looking for Ryu Tsushima because she has gone missing. However, the anime doesn't explain how he found her or went to the Ryu cloning facility. And the reason for that was because he used his Apostle of Greed to use the Ryu clones as eyes. And the eyes essentially told him, look, you need to go to the cloning facility. That's where you have to go. That's where Shima is. And that's the reason why he randomly showed up. And of course, in the anime, we see that the door is open and Garfield is able to work out that Subaru is behind it because the only people that can open the door are people who are Apostles of Greed and if they have the crystal. And of course, Subaru has Frederica's crystal. The final scene of the episode is Subaru approaching Amelia in the tomb. And this was a perfect adaption from what we actually saw in the anime, but they did cut out a small scene beforehand where it was Subaru approaching the tomb. One of the big questions is how is Subaru inside the tomb when he doesn't have the qualifications? The light novel actually tells us why, and we find out as seen above that Subaru is literally just hard tanking the defects and debuffs of the trial. And he's just doing it for Amelia's sake. There was one cutscene between Otto and Garfield, however, I believe they will 100% cover this in the next episode, so I won't cover it now, but if it isn't included in the next episode, I'll cover it then. Anyways, this is my first episode of Cut Content. Hopefully you enjoyed it, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.